key for India to move forward is how do you maintain a healthy growth rate, which I believe is 5%, 6%, in this kind of adverse environment. I see the labor reforms as the key. You know, for a country with 1.2 billion people, you cannot grow just on the basis of software engineers and business process uh, operations. You have to include the workers, the women, villagers, and the rural Indians into the growth machine, right? We're talking about simple manufacturing. We're talking about simple service sector jobs that require you know, basic reading, a little bit of the math, functional capabilities, and labor uh, regulations in India are killing those uh, potentials. They don't kill the IT, they don't kill the high tech, but they do kill the blue collar manufacturing uh, jobs, which India needs the most. The other area that will require more government interventions is in the area of uh, social sector, uh, health and uh, education. If the government doesn't provide health and education, nobody can come close to match the government. And this is where you actually want more government interventions. You want more tax money to go in those uh, sectors. And India government is both um, not able to collect enough uh, taxes to spend on health and education. It is also constrained administratively and politically in terms of uh, scaling up uh, education. I will submit that India, if India doesn't fix this education, primary education, first tier uh, education problem, they are going to undermine their success in the high tech sector. The reason is very simple. The tertiary education requires a long pipeline of, uh, of a college ready uh, students. If you don't fix your primary uh, education, if you don't fix your high school, primary school, you're going to have a very narrow pipeline. You know, there are many analysts uh, and, and scholars and observers who believe that uh, India can skip this sort of uh, normal uh, sequential economic development model and leapfrogging directly into the information age, IT age. Uh, I think there are two kinds of leapfrogging, and let me say that uh, one is more plausible than the other. The leapfrogging in education, I do believe that there are a lot of potentials there. Uh, the Khan Academy model of delivering educational content to villagers and, and children in remote places, you probably can leapfrog the brick and mortar education provision model. The leapfrogging view that, that, that is laid out by some of the observers, which is that you don't need manufacturing, you just go directly into IT. There's absolutely no evidence in support of that. I would argue that the current struggles that India has now are actually related to the missing uh, manufacturing. Uh, the only way for a country that size to have broad-based economic growth, to have uh, sustained income growth, is to do those things that majority of your population can do. Right? It's manufacturing. It's not writing software codes. My worry about India is that if you just have IT, if you just have uh, software, business uh, process uh, operations, you're going to have an um, a economy in which one part of the country, a very narrow slice of the country, does extremely well, leaving the vast majority behind in economic development and economic growth. Politically, I don't think that's a sustainable proposition. Economically, I think it's a very unhealthy to have the growth to be so concentrated in just one or two areas and leaving the vast majority of the population uh, behind.